Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I've done something I haven't done in a long time, and that is. Shurulu. I've been to the gym. Awesome. <sighs> yes, I've rejoined the gym. It's the same gym I was a member of for a long time. Um, mainly because our shower's out, obviously. If you know anything about me and this channel, you know our boiler's broken. We're not able to have showers. Um, so <clears throat> we've rejoined the gym. I've just gone in, had a really lovely workout. Oh, it felt so good. And a hot shower, and a shave, and everything. And I feel beautiful now. Obviously, because we're traveling around, it's gonna be difficult to get to the gym uh, most of the time. But if I can get like three times a week, that'd be good for me. Um, I can do some uh, van workouts as well, you know, but you know, that'd be good. So I'm really happy about that. In Harley news with her clutch, I think she was quoted around 400 and something uh, for a mobile mechanic to come and do it for her. Um, so, he thinks four to five hours, but I, I think it would maybe take a bit longer than that looking at it uh, or looking into it. But, you know, so if we can get it around the five, six hundred mark, that would be okay. Much better than the near on thousand pound that she was quoted uh, from a certain garage. Um, lots of people have commented about it and I really appreciate it and have reassured me that uh, that is about the right price between four, six hundred, depending. Thank you. Morning. So we woke up to flat battery. So I'm hoping our alternator's not gone the same way as Harley's alternator's gone. So I've just got the jenny running and we're just charging it up off the battery charger. Uh, might be enough to start it. <sighs> so this is the circuit board from the boiler, the Carver Cascade 2. Water got in there, blew it up. Um, it's not really worth replacing any of this with like for like, and it is still leaking. I've just gone in here to have a check. I've got towels down in here, but it is still leaking, obviously, even though we're not using it. Um, so we do need to get it out there sooner rather than later. Problem is, one, money, and two, bobble vans have, have a delay in orders, so can't get anything until middle of January. Um, but obviously we still have running cold water in here, which we use. Uh, so I'll just have to keep mopping it up, I suppose, until then. <sighs> So regarding our flat battery, I disconnected the DC DC charger and drove it around town and stuff like that, doing all the uh, runs that we had to do, and it's absolutely fine now. Um, so what I think is happening is it's fine when we're driving, say we're, like, we're belting it down the motorway or whatever, and all that kind of thing. It's all fine with the DC charger. Um, when I, we when you get stuck in traffic, which we did a couple of days running, so we were stuck in traffic for quite a long time, so the engine's just ticking over, it's not at revs, it was draining our uh, engine battery. So what I'm going to do, because what I need to do really is put a higher powered alternator in, um, but that's money, <coughs> so <coughs> and hassle, and I can't find one anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a switch on the DC charger, on the dashboard, so that when we're Obviously, obviously traveling at speed, I can flick it on and that I know that's going to charge the uh, the house battery up a bit. When we're stuck in traffic, I can turn it off and know that it's not going to drain it. And I, and I can turn it off periodically as well just to make sure that the uh, engine battery is getting a good charge uh, when we're driving. So it, it just what it does, it just means that I can still get a bit of charge from driving because you do notice the difference when it's not uh, attached. Um, even though we don't do a lot of driving at the moment, but um, until I can get the new alternator and all that stuff um, sorted out, then that's going to be a good solution. So I'm going to see if I can find a switch. I'll show you uh, how to, how I'm going to do it um, and all that. So yeah, let's go. All right, I hope you can see. Uh, we've got the trigger for the DC charger running here. It's sort of attached here onto the back of fuse number three on here. Uh, which is your window wipers, washers, indicators. It's like it's like all the uh, dash control, so dash lights and all that. So when you put the ignition on, obviously when you put the ignition on, then that all fires up and it triggers the DC charger. And when you turn it off, it turns 
all of that off and turn the DC charger off. That's how we did it. So I'm gonna try and put a switch on that so I can, everything else will work off the ignition and then I can switch the DC charger on and off. Wish we luck. Here's our switch that I just wired in line. It's on the off position at the minute. And dash lights are on and all that. Ignition's on, sorry B. Good assistance, stay there. And DC charger's there. And the green light is off. <laughs> so we'll go back and switch it on. Oh, could hear a click. And now, back to the car there. Here it is, it's on. Bingo. So now, now I have full control. <sighs> Whew, so that was dead easy. So now I've got full control over the DC charger when I'm driving. So like I said before, when I'm in, when I'm speeding along, I'll turn it on, get some juice in the house battery. When I, if I'm stuck in traffic or idling or anything like that, I can turn it off. Or if I feel like the engine battery is struggling a bit and I know because the window wipers slow down and the indicators slow down. When the indicators, they sort of, Excuse me. <laughs> they sort of go click, click, instead of click, 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 you know. Then I know what's going on. So, anyway. Right, at the moment, it's just poking out there <laughs> where the stereo used to be. But it all works. Um, but I'm going to find a plate to put across here, maybe out of wood or something. I'll make something and then I'll drill a hole and put that in there. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. I might just leave it in there permanently, actually, because I think it's quite a good idea to be able to turn it on and off from the dash. I don't know what you think, but I thought it was quite genius. What have we in here? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> We've got a portable gas oven, which Mrs. H is going to model, aren't you? I don't know about model it, but... <laughs> but we've got the uh, generator going on outside, so you'll have to put up with that as well. <coughs> uh, and that's the specs there. Net weight 9.6 kilograms, gross weight 11.5 kilograms. What's it mean by that? Anyway, the dimensions and stuff. So, over to our model. Here's a knife. Call that a knife? Call that a spoon? Yes, it's such a spoon you are. <laughs> so... We've been looking at this for a while, haven't we? And we got some Christmas money. We've got it really because I was getting a bit bored of just cooking everything on one hob. And now I broke the hob. Yes. Whoops. Living spices. So, oh, hang on a minute, let me get comfy. Oh, my back's a bit dodge. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna give this a whirl. I don't know how good it's gonna be. We watched some YouTube vids of it, didn't it? And it looked all right. And I just, I don't know, we've just been like craving a bit of lasagna or a bit of pizza or something like that instead of we just making, taking an hour on the hob, on one hob, because that's all we've got at the minute. So, um, so yeah, so let's have a look, see what it looks like. So we'll do an unboxing and then we'll do a separate video and demo it. Oh, this knife doesn't work. Totally um, knife. So yeah, so I like, we, we talked about it and then we dotted it and then I got the GBs at night because I was like, oh, it's going to be too big, where are we going to put it? Is it going to be naff? Because it's just like used as one of the few ten things. And then we talked about it again and it was already on its way so we're like, oh, well, screw it, let's have a look, see what it's like. If it's, this is rubbish. If it's really naff, then, I don't know, I suppose we could send it back, but, I don't know. What do we have for dinner? Pizza. Pizza. Apparently it's big enough to get a 12-inch pizza in it. Yeah? Apparently, yeah. And it runs off the little gas canisters, the same as these, which go in these. And one canister apparently lasts two hours. I mean, I spend that long doing, like, look, what did I make last night? A sausage, mash and vegetables mm. on one hob. <laughs> so it took about an hour anyway, didn't yeah. it? I to keep heating it back up. But that's um, pretty good because they cost about a pound, just over a pound each, don't they? Yeah, you can usually get four from um, Point Bargains. So you could probably roast a chicken for a pound. Biscuit, what do how you long reckon? did it take to roast a chicken? Depends how big it is. I mean, if you've got a tiny little roast chicken. What about a duck, like the ones outside? That's me. What Shall about I? one of these? And, and the other thing is, well, I don't really know what's in it, to be fair, but like Ooh. our toaster is a bit juicy, so we don't really have toast that often, do we? And it's quite bulky. 
So we thought we got all to do a little toasty rack thing, didn't we? So Ooh. I don't know. We'll see how it works. But, um, right, what's let's... in the box? What is in the box? Oh, my back's hurting again. Do you want me to do it? Um, right, so... I'll pull it out because you'll hurt your back. Yeah, no, I won't lift it. Uh... Oh, what's this? All right, what is that? Handbag. <laughs> I don't know what is that a back carry bag yeah, for it? Because it is portable, so you can take uh, it out. Like, like you want to go to the beach and cook a roast dinner. Yeah, why not? So as you camping and you want to have some chips in, I don't know. But yeah, it's portable. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know it had a bag. No, I didn't know it had a bag. How much was it? One hundred and sixty-four pounds. Mm, yeah, it was an, on offer. Oh right, so you can put it in a bag. Oh. Andy. I don't know if we'd use that really, but... Well, I wonder if the toilet cassette would fit in there. <laughs> what, well, you're not putting the oven in there after we've been in there? Do not think. Right, so that's that. Cool. Whoops, oh, there's a dog down there, sorry. Sorry, right, dog's fine. So we've got a, a grill plate and some instructions. Instructions, and, and then the actual then thing. that's that, so I can't lift that because my back hurts. So Alright, hang on then, we'll, we'll cut and I'll uh, get it out. Okay. I've got a dog plate, and we got <laughs> it out slick, the box. Right? Yeah, it was there. Mm. It's like a microwave. Matches our it, really? feet. It does look like a microwave. It's about the size of a microwave, I'd say. A large microwave, isn't it? Would you say? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if I can. Where's that going to go? And there's stuff, more stuff in the box we're we'll looking at in a minute. But, um, it's all shiny. Oh, shiny and new. It won't last like that for long, will it? Let's rip it open. Yeah, rip it open. Get in there. And it's crystal clear. Yeah, it's quite, quite good looking, isn't it? Oh, it's quite nice. It's quite big actually. So, in the box, mm. there is also oh, is this so difficult? the grow pad. You get that as well. Nice. Maybe we did need that other thing for the toast then. It was like a little portable thing for toast that you put in there, but mm. we got it, so we'll try it. We'll let you know how that goes. Well, I guess we'll have to look Not. We'll figure that out. Oh yeah, everyone's going to be like, you're so stupid. So I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I just press my car, so I'm stupid. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll work. It's a handle. Yeah, I know. Like, and yeah, then you yeah, got that. I can't work things. So does that shut with that in there? Ah, oh, that does shut with that in there. So what's that then? Just another shell? Just another shell. Another shell. But I'm guessing, and I think that's what we saw in the reviews, wasn't it? That people complained about, morning, um, about burning things, didn't they? On the bottom, because that's where the flame is. But I guess... Don't put anything that's gonna burn. Actually, I can't work anything, can I? No, 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 I break everything and I can't work anything. We'll work it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just showing myself right up now, aren't I? Again. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. sure that fits. Yeah, it I'm fits. I'm sure it fits. That we'll oh, sorry, we'll get it to fit in a minute. But um, but yeah, and I think that's where. Looks pretty good actually, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's where the um. Gas bottle goes gas in bottle there. Goes. Yeah. Looks like it's got a timer, a heat. Yeah, so it's a, what's an analog one? Mm. Yeah. Okay. That'll go ding. That's all right. That's handy. So it would just work how a normal gas little camping stove would work, wouldn't it? Let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. I'll learn how to work it. Okay. Brilliant. More to follow. Right. So we are running. There we go. We're gonna cook some pizza, isn't it? And I've got spare meat things just in case we burn the pizza and the chips, we can fry them on the hob. <coughs> we ain't going on the hob. Not sure how this is going to work. But we've got it with plenty of room around it, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So it should be good. We did a test run over the other on the other side, but it did get a bit hot underneath the cabinet. These cabinets are higher up, so we're going to have it on this and side. And the worktop's bigger, isn't it? And it's a bigger, it's just a bigger area. And it's by the door. So if it catches fire, I can throw it out the door. Oh, it's not up to temperature yet, though, but... Oh, stick it in. Stick it in. That's what Ooh, she said. It fits. It's a 12-inch pizza. Yeah. It fits straight, isn't it? Well, I think it's 12. I didn't measure it. It's on the box either, but it looks like it. Yeah, I reckon it's 12 inches. <laughs> I would know... Right. And I've got some little, and I've only got this silicon thing from the air fryer that we don't have anymore, so 
Ah, get my silicon mitts out. Oh, it looks like a metal quiche. We're making cake for the last one, Okay. Roast dinners. It's on full blast. The temperature, the door's been open, but the temperature is slowly climbing, isn't it? So we'll keep an eye on it, so let you know. Okay. Then we need to put it on a plate because it's crisp around the edges and those little fries are like nowhere near ready, but it looks all right. It's starting to burn a bit at the back though on the crisp. So I think this needs to be on the bottom shelf and whatever's in the silicon might be better. Okay. Can you get me a plate please? Okay. It smells good. So is that not done yet? Um, it's looking alright, it's crispy, it's just I don't think it's still in the middle but it's those chips if we want them at the same time and like not in two hours and I think I should probably put them at the top right. and then put that back at the bottom. I think I've got these mitts on wrong, what weirdo. I literally have them, eh? You do look like a guy from Futurama. <coughs> I don't even know why I don't even watch it. No, no, it is right. You've never seen Futurama? Yeah, I don't think I like it. It's not The Simpsons, is it? Okay. Ah, that's really hot. I need some assistance. Stop. New plan, I'm transferring because that wasn't really the right thing to do it in. It's just we have nothing now because we didn't have anything to cook in the oven. So I'm just going to try cooking them in these. Maybe I'll put them at the top of the shelf. Obviously I'll get all the old mitts out in a minute. Oh, you could make them loaded with cheese and carbonara sauce and all sorts, couldn't you? Well, don't you? Because we ain't got any. Um, got cheese? Hungry. Got cheese, yeah. But we can imagine it, bacon, a bit of carbonara sauce. Your mushrooms. You flirt with me. So I think I'll stick that back in a minute and finish up. It's, it's all right. It's not burnt so far. I just think it just needs a little bit longer. Mm. Mm. So it's a winner at the moment. So far, so good. <laughs> Looks all right, doesn't it? Did the job, didn't it? Mm. Pizza's all cooked through. Looks all right. Not burnt. A few cheesy chips. Might be just the weird chips that didn't seem as crispy, but I don't know. They were just already sort of the uncooked ones. They're not uncooked, but they're sort of ready. I don't know. Not frozen. Or fresh. Just cooked ones. Good morning, Treacles. I'm not very well. It's December 22nd, I think. Did a gig last night, got back at 3 in the morning, woke up at 7, feel like death. Didn't feel very well last night, but anyway. We're at Chola Farm which is one of our favourites for tonight so we can uh, sort ourselves out before going to family for Christmas Ah, oh, it's our friend Donkey Biscuit likes it, don't you? So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go and uh, pay the lady and get our pack This is a good one, this is Trolla Farm in Arundel Very good site It's a CL site for Caravan Camping Club Is it Caravan Camping or Caravan Motorhome? I don't know, one of them Anyway, so yeah, so it looks like we've pretty much got the place to ourselves, which is quite nice. I suppose most people aren't holidaying in their mode homes at the moment, but yeah, looks all right, doesn't it, mate? She's happy about it. This gets uh, pooing like a trooper. In your mate. Yeah. All right, so now I'm here. I'm going to do a few jobs. If you remember, the cooker hob smashed. Now that's gone, and I've put this uh, glass chopping board on here, uh, which is now stuck down. So I need to fix this tile here, and silicon, I've got some black silicon to go down the back of there. Uh, Mrs. H wants a second one to go next to it, which is quite cool, because the cooker sits on it quite nicely. We are going to get a double cooker, so having a second chopping board might be a good idea. Um, our oven sits up there, we use that up there. We've got rid of our toaster, um, and we've got one of these things. And I'm hungry because I've nothing to eat yet, and it's lunchtime. So I'm going to see how that works. It goes on there apparently, and you can cook toast on it. Shall we try it out? Okay, so you can just about fit two slices of toast on it. Let's fire it up. Got it on full flame. Let's see if we can burn this toast, eh? Well, it kind of works. I'm getting burnt edges though because I think the bread's too big. Uh, one slice at a time with this size bread, I think. Um, oh, yeah, I've got a bit of a burnt crust, look. But 
in all fairness, it is toast in it. Well, there you go, toast. It does actually work all right. It's burnt the edge of that one because it was overlapping the side of it. This bread's a bit too big. Maybe if you cut the crust off, we'll just do it one at a time. But yeah, that's not bad. It is toast, isn't it? Hmm, not bad. Et voila, that looks much better. So I just need to let that go off. It's gonna take ages because that's a massive bead of silicon down the back of that. But that tidies up that whole area now. No ugly cracked induction hob that we never used anyway. Next job is this. This is for fresh water because we don't use the water out of the tank. So I've got this USB rechargeable little fresh water pump and it's got where is it this pipe this pipe here which attaches to it which attaches to there right bingo mass and then that's going to go into a hole down the back of the worktop there and we've got a 12 liter um, water container which we can fill up with fresh water uh, for drinking and that can sit around about there, it is portable, I'm not going to fix it down, um, but there it would be good, and then when we want to use a drainer we can just move it, and obviously to charge it up. So, let's get that in. Water pipes in, coming down through there, lovely jubbly. So that looks like that. Splendico. Water container. Water container literally just arrived, so let's get that out of the packet. There she is got a little tap there as well if you wanted to put it on a desktop or something but what I liked about it too was it's got this little hole here so we can put our pipe in through there down into there it's got some other gubbins I don't know what all that's about spare taps and whatnot hmm probably don't need that um, that'll do us so I'm gonna rinse that out hook it up show you how it works and there it is under there, 12 litres, pipes going into the top there, to the bottom of the tank there. Put my glass on there, you can set this to 100 mil, 200 mil, 300 mil, 500, 700 or 1000 mil. So you just push that, I'll put it on to 200 mil, push start. Look at that, clean, fresh water. Bingo mass. Another little job I've done. That's the switch for the DC charger. Was just hanging out there. That's only temporary though, so don't get excited. I'm gonna do something a lot better than that, but that was just something to make it a bit better. Because otherwise before the switch was just dangling down on a wire. So that'll do for now until I can find a plate or something to go in there. But that's where it's gonna live. So I can turn the DC charger on and off, which is working great. Next job, I'm gonna remove this pretty useless coconut mat coconut mats are useless don't use them uh, with a better mat to go in the doorway so I've just cleaned all the doorway it was disgusting under there got to say the least <laughs> to say the least so I'm just gonna cut that stick that in there so what I've done is I've cut the mat to size and then on the off cuts I'm cutting the rubber edging off and I'm gonna stick them uh, in there to make it neater Glue them in and Bob's your monkey. Bingo mass 2.0.